this tutorial, we show how to integrate a MLG2 ProNet for Profinet into a Siemens TIA portal environment. Additionally, an application where the function height measurement is required is solved. First of all, the TIA portal software is started and a new project is created. This project is called MLG-2 Height Measurement. By clicking on Create, the project is created. Switching to the project view will allow searching for connected devices. The interface is selected and by double-clicking on Update Accessible Devices, the connected devices are displayed. The device we are looking for is the MLG-2 light grid from SIG. Double-click on the device. By clicking on Online End Diagnosis and Assign Name, a new Profinet device name is set. The new name is MLG2 ProNet underline height underline measurement. This is confirmed by clicking on Assign Name. A status message confirms that the name has been set successfully. The second device that needs to be configured is the PLC. In the left column, also the PLC is displayed. Click in the tree structure on the relevant PLC. The name and the IP address is displayed. This information is needed in a later step. First the PLC has to be added to the project. Click on Add New Device. Select your PLC from the tree structure. In this example it is an S7-1200 with a CPU 1212C DC DC DC. The correct version is selected. Now select the PLC's properties and tick the corresponding boxes to keep the PLC's IP address and the device's Profinet name. Select Devices and Networks and add the light grid. Go to the catalog and search for MLG. The light grid's GSD file has been downloaded and integrated before. If you would like to get more information how to add a GSD file, click on the tutorial which is displayed now. Select the light grid from the tree structure and add it via drag and drop to the network. Connect the light grid with a PLC in the visual interface. Select the light grid's properties by double clicking on the device. Select the item IP address is set directly at the device. Untick the box for automatic name generation and type in the correct Profinet name, which is the previously set name MLG2 ProNet underline height underline measurement. The network settings are done now. Now the device settings need to be adjusted. By double-clicking on the configuration module, all the device settings are displayed. For this example, the device will stay in standard mode and no other settings are changed. The necessary modules need to be added. Click in the tree structure on the right on Module and select Function. As a height measurement application needs to be solved, the function LBB, which is Last Beam Blocked, is added. Additionally, the status of the system is relevant, which is the function sys. Add these two functions via drag and drop to the device. Select the device and click on Compile in order to compile the configuration. Click on the PLC, compile again and download to the device. Click on Start Search in order to find the connected devices. Select the PLC and then click on Load. When the load preview is finished, click on Load again. Then restart the PLC by ticking the box Start All 
and then clicking Finish. The configuration is done. In this area, the input addresses of the data are displayed. The beam status has the address 1 to 4, so 4 bytes. The last beam blocked has 2 bytes and the system status 2 bytes again. The data can be added to a watch table. Click on Watch Enforce Tables and then Add New Watch Table. The name Watch Underline MLG-2 Process Data is assigned to the watch table. For the beam status, the input double word ID1 is assigned and the format is set to binary. The input word IW5 is for the last beam blocked and the display format is decimal. Input word IW7 is set for the system status with binary as display format. 1, 5 and 7 are selected as these are the start bytes of the functions. By clicking on the glasses symbol, the watch table is set online. When now an object, like in this example a box, is moving through the light grid, the monitored values change. Thank you for watching this tutorial and hope to see you next time.